ಸವಿತುರ್ಹರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರಗೋ ದೇವಸ್ಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ದಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನಚೋದಯಾಂಧ ಸರಾಮ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಸ್ವಾಮ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಅವ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಸಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ಸಾಯ್ ಫಿಲೋಸಫಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಯೂಜಲಿ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ um uh based on divine discourses or of sri satyasai that's 34 lectures on bhagavad gita um it's um 1984 well um in some of the um, chapter um uh, our beloved swami sri satyasai uh tells us wonderful as usual actually a um, message let me what truly speaking yeah man cannot achieve even a small task without the support of divine power okay because this book is um, basically about um, bhagavad gita message given by lord krishna to his uh, chief disciple arjuna so of course the next examples are from arjuna's life and side to side just uh, brings to the light a few events from arjuna's life arjuna is the chief disciple of krishna and we know about him from different sources i mean about um, this krishna arjuna you now guru disciple uh, connection is uh, mahabharata and um, of course Sriman Bhagavatam a little bit as well and um, such a side tells us that uh, when uh, Krishna was uh, next to Arjuna blessing him uh, then Arjuna just a human being he could achieve tremendous things really amazing things but when um, sometimes it uh, could also happen when uh, Krishna's blessings was not with Arjuna then powerful hero you know Arjuna he was unable to it was impossible for Arjuna to complete even simple things when we read Mahabharata that's one of the most uh, uh, central uh, one of the most fundamental scripture uh, of uh, Vedic Hinduism like Ramayana Srimad Bhagavatam and Mahabharata okay when we read when we study uh mahabharata by the way and shrimad bhagavatam as well so what we can see we can see that actually thousands of situations thousands of examples when god is with you okay you can achieve tremendous amazing unbelievable things but if you try to do something yourself then even simple things impossible to achieve to accomplish and um, then very interesting uh, okay uh, next page just the next page and uh, one more interesting message um okay um that this god this divine consciousness actually the location of this divine consciousness is uh, spiritual heart yeah because and that's very important um you know uh, for the philosophy of such a sign that each human being really speaking is atma swarupa amazing well um, actually god is not outside god is not somewhere above okay it's not that we have to go to or whatever christian or muslim or hindu or buddhist paradise to experience god no each and every human being is atma swarupa this is a sanskrit word very famous for such a sign atma means absolute consciousness swarupa means embodiment um, and it means each and every human being including us uh, we are embodiment we are you know manifestation of this absolute consciousness but the problem is that we are always forgetting about um, this 
uh, essential um, nature of our consciousness. So it means, okay, when Satisai speaks about um, this Arjuna example, okay, when um, Arjuna was able to achieve whatever grade with the help of Krishna's blessings, and it was impossible to achieve even small things, uh, tests uh, for Arjuna without Krishna's blessing. But one very important point, what does it mean Krishna's blessing according to the Satya Sai uh, uh, philosophy? It means not that God is physically next to you, but important is that you are able, you must be able to experience God in your heart. Uh, through meditation you can experience yourself as Atma, yourself as Absolute Consciousness and that's the way how God is like, you know, behind whatever project you undertake. Well, let's uh, remember that, uh, yeah, actually we live in a wonderful time when Triple Sai Avatar um, visiting this planet Earth. Surely Sai, Sai Sai now is Prema Sai. Okay, but so many people can be physically near okay Satya Sai or uh, now Prema Sai but it doesn't mean that in your heart this divinity is awakened um, unfortunately of course I don't want to judge anybody but people sometimes could spend years years and years and put part in Satya Sai uh, presence, physical presence, but it doesn't mean that um, God was really shining in their heart. So it's a very complicated situation. It means, um, yeah, please remember, uh, blessings from the Lord God, it doesn't mean that you are just physically next to Him. For example, you are staying in put party or visiting put party or maybe in your apartment or in your office you have a big picture, big photo of such a side. It means nothing till the moment you open your heart and experience this divine power through your uh, spiritual heart. And that's possible through meditation, personal prayer, service to the community, you know, all that sadhana, spiritual practice, which includes not only meditation and prayer, but which includes also service, then you can experience uh, divine presence and that's that's the tool okay god bless all of us sairam see you next time Savituruvarinyam Bharago Devasya Nimahi Diyo Yonak Prachodayantam